Jacob sat quietly on his stool in front of the stove. It was just after supper, and Mom was making cookies. The oven light was on, and he could see through the dark glass of the oven door. He was watching cookies bake. A person had to be very patient to watch cookies bake. But Jacob liked the idea of seeing the mysterious secret thing that happened in the oven. The little mounds of cookie dough slowly spread out like they were melting. Jacob sniffed at the delicious smell that leaked out of the oven. Bring! The timer announced that the cookies were done. Mom hurried into the kitchen. Jacob moved his stool out of the way and watched as Mom put on an oven mitt so she wouldn't burn herself. May I have a cookie? Jacob asked. Not right now, Mom answered. She carefully slid a spatula under the hot cookies and put them on a wire rack to cool. Jacob stood close by and watched. Smelling the cookies was not enough. He wanted to eat one. Mom spooned more rounds of cookie dough on the cookie sheet. Then she put it back into the oven and set the timer again. Jacob moved his stool back in front of the oven door, but he did not sit down. He wandered over to the counter and looked at the cookies on the rack. He reached out a finger and touched one. It was a little hot, but Jacob blew on it. In a few minutes, Jacob touched the cookies again. Then he picked it up and he took a bite. Bring! Jacob stuffed the rest of the cookies into his mouth. Jacob's mom hurried into the kitchen. She looked at Jacob. She looked at the rack of cooling cookies. She frowned. Did you eat a cookie, she asked. Jacob gulped. He nodded his head. I'm sorry, he whispered. Mom opened the oven door. She took out the cookie sheet and set it on the stove top. Then she put her arm around Jacob. I forgive you, she said. Jacob looked up at mom with sad eyes. Really? She kissed the top of his head. Jacob smiled. Mom took the hot cookies off the cookie sheet. Then she opened the refrigerator door. Would you like some milk with your next cookie, she asked. You can have one more as soon as they're cool. And this story teaches us that God is always ready to forgive us when we do something bad. Just like Jacob's mom forgave him for eating a cookie. Jesus was also crucified on the cross for our sins, and we're thankful for what he did. So who would like to pray? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for all you've given us. Please help us to make the right choices. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen.